Hello friends, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this video, we are going to talk about this program, AWS Community Builders. Now, many of you have written to me that uh, we should go ahead and cover the features of this program and how can we go ahead and join this and become an AWS Community Builder. So that's where this short video to cover those aspects. Uh, we'll not only talk about the program, we'll also go ahead and, uh, you know, try to actually redeem the credits which this program gives us. Okay, so let's understand first what this program is all about. So AWS started this program to actually empower the community of AWS enthusiasts. A lot of us, you know, learn and like AWS and of course we use it on day-to-day -day basis. We also try to talk about it. Uh, you know, we try to spread, you know, we try to spread information uh, or knowledge related to AWS uh, in one way or the other, whether it is in the form of certain blogs or by making videos, etc. We continue to do that. We do a lot of live sessions, etc. Right. So there are a lot of people who are doing one thing or the other related to AWS. So AWS has brought this program to kind of empower such people who are already there in the field doing something or the other related to AWS, trying to spread knowledge related to AWS. So how does this program help? First of all, can you just go ahead and join this program if you are not doing anything? My answer would be no. Okay, though we'll talk about the joining thing just in a while. But let us understand that what benefits do you get as part of this program? So if you get selected, uh, you know, to be a community builder, you get certain benefits, you know, immediately. Let me let me tell you some of those. For example, you get a certification voucher, you know, basically you get voucher so that you can go ahead and write one certification exam. Now you can go ahead and choose whether you want the voucher for associate certification or professional level or, or a specialty level certification. You can choose that and you get the, you know, you get a, a code which you can redeem while you're booking the exam. So that's a really good thing. I mean, if you are writing a professional uh, certification, uh, that's $300 saving straight away, right? So AWS really supports you in that manner. The other important thing or very beneficial stuff is that AWS gives you credits, right? So AWS gives you 500 US dollar credit, which you can go ahead and basically use in your AWS account. And of course, the intention is that you will be using this credit to uh, to try out new things on AWS or to spread information or knowledge related to AWS, right? You will be uh, contributing back to the community using this. So what we'll also do is in a while, we will go ahead and actually redeem that credit as well. And you can see that. So that will be $500. So these are just two things. But in addition to this, you know, something which is even more beneficial is you get to talk to a lot of uh, AWS guys directly. The way uh, the way this program works is once you are once you are uh, selected as a community builder, you get invited to a Slack space basically. In this Slack, uh, all of us uh, get to get to know about various things which are happening. For example, if there's a new feature uh, which is getting launched related to storage or related to networking, there are high chances that we will have a session from the product team itself, you know, where they'll come, they'll do a session for us. And if we have any questions, we can ask about that particular feature. We also get chance to kind of, uh, kind of go ahead and uh, give feedback, right? And as you guys know already, Amazon's um, product backlog is totally customer driven. Uh, they try to they try to listen to the feedback always, and accordingly they go ahead and prioritize the features which they are building, right? So uh, normally when you get selected as an AWS community builder, you would get selected in one of the different like there are many streams which are there, and you get selected in one of those streams. For example, there could be a stream which is around management governance. There could be a stream which would be around containers. There could be another stream which would be around security or DevOps. Right. So in this way, there are many different streams are there and you based on your interest, 
you get selected based on your interest and on a couple of other things you may get selected to one of these streams now it is not really i mean it does not really mean that you cannot do anything in the other stream it's very much possible if you are interested in doing you know something in the other field as well you are welcome to go ahead and do that we get to you know we get to talk to the product team um, about uh, about the upcoming features we get to attend certain sessions sometimes uh, as part of nda certain features are are um, you know are explained or we get to know about it so uh, that's really good stuff for example um, before a particular feature comes out you know uh, via official aws blog sometimes not always but some but some of the times it might happen that we get to know about it you know a couple of days before that but there would be an nda so that means you should not go ahead and talk to you know talk to public about it once it becomes generally available or once it is out in the public we can surely go ahead and talk about it what what you get to do is you are able to talk to aws people you are also able to talk to lot of other other uh, you know like minded people who are like you and who are also trying to do uh, something uh, to give back to the community so you can you can actually talk to them and you can plan to do you know you can plan to collaborate and do things together so that's other uh, very important uh, benefit which you actually get right so you understood the structure of the program the idea is that people who who become part of aws community builders program they uh, you know they do more and more stuff on aws try to spread that knowledge and kind of build the community so that more people can go ahead and learn it so now the next point is how to go ahead and join it or how can you get into this uh, program so the applications open during a certain part of the year so if you are interested you can go to this page and press on this button and put your email address and when this uh, you know when the uh, you know when the program applications open up again you will get notified so you can go ahead and uh, easily apply for it but if you are not doing anything currently in the community space and you just think that i'll go ahead and apply for it uh, the chances of you getting selected would be very little then so we have to understand that the program is not designed that okay you just you know you just join this program and then you start doing things that way it might not work uh, you need to you need to show you need to show some amount of commitment already that you have been doing things right you are an active person you have been doing things and of course you will be allowed to allowed to fill all the details of the work which you have which you have been doing and then based on that amazon guys will actually go ahead and select that uh, well, whether whether you can be part of this program or not okay so uh, i'll highly recommend you if you are interested in this type of work uh, you should go ahead and uh, and you know register here so that you get notified about the same now next thing what we'll do is we'll quickly go ahead and create a new aws account uh, basically i want to set up a completely new organization so we'll go ahead and create a new aws account and as part of that aws account what we'll do is we'll go ahead and redeem this 500 usd which aws has given me okay so let us go ahead and do that now whenever you are creating a new aws account you know that you have to give uh, a unique email address now we cannot keep creating so many email addresses right and gmail is really good so what you can do is whatever is your email address put a plus in that and then write whatever you want for example here i've written plus master so whatever email goes to this email address actually comes to my actual email which is knowledgeindia.in at gmail.com right so that's what i'm gonna do i'll just go ahead and put a password and go ahead i'll give it a name of course this is my master account so i'm just gonna call it master so AWS has changed the interface recently. AWS is working hard currently to, to change the UI of everything, right? Let's fill these things quickly. All right, on the step number three, we need to put our credit card details. All right, so the payment got completed. Now I need to put a mobile number and basically verify that. Let me do that quickly. Okay, so got this small OTP, put it here. All 
of course we'll go with free support plan and we'll say complete sign up all right so with this my account should be ready All right, so I am inside this account. Uh, of course, this is the first account. So I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and create organization using this account. So this will be my master pair account. All of you know how to create organization already. There is a, there is a detailed organization video which you can go ahead and watch on our channel. I'll In the next video, I will show you a demo of control tower. But before doing that, we will go ahead and actually redeem these credits okay so let's do this go to the billing dashboard all right and on the left hand side you will see credits so go ahead and click there now go to redeem credit and you need to put the code so as part of this community builders program you receive a card in which this code is given so i'm just filling that Let's press on redeem credit and see. Right, it says redeemed successfully. And you can see that credit name is given. So Community Builders Program 2020. And this is applicable or this would expire, uh, you know, in the end of 2021. So 31st December 2021. Uh, amount used nothing till now. And 500 usd is there totally so whatever i'll do going ahead you know it it will get deducted from this you know from these credits first now the thing is i have created this as a new aws account so of course because it is a new aws account for the 12 months for the 12 months whatever free tier benefits are there that i'll get uh, you know as part of this account as well but apart from that if i go ahead and run something or you know run certain services which are not eligible for eligible for for the for the free tier benefits then that amount will get deducted from this you know from these credits let's click here and see the list of available services so basically i can go ahead and use uh, this amount against any of these services you know that's the good thing against any of these services Many of the times, uh, if in your organization, uh, you know, uh, you are talking to AWS, you might get some credits. This part is something which they can, which they can configure. They may give you uh, some credits and put a limitation on that credits that these credits can be used against, let's say, three, four different services only. That is possible. But in this case, of course, all the services can be used. For an example, if in your organization you are trying to, you are trying to, you know, adopt or use a new AWS service or a new AWS offering, I will highly recommend you that you talk to your technical account manager and ask him, uh, ask him or her about, uh, you know, about the support, um, you know, they can provide. If you are trying something new for the adoption they can really support you with credits with which you can go ahead and execute poc in your environment you know kind of free of cost and that can that can really help you help you try out new things and and adopt it as well right so i hope you learned something from this video if you are interested in watching more such videos related to aws and even sometimes with azure you can subscribe to this channel knowledge india we have 150 plus videos already on our channel. So if you have not watched it, please go ahead and look at our playlist. Okay. So we will meet again in another video with more stuff on AWS. Take care guys. Bye-bye.